Hey, what's up, YouTube? Power Stroke Jude here. I hope all my dudes are having a great night or day or morning or whatever time it is when you guys watch this. Um, today, I am going to do my U.S. General Tool Cart Tour, and that is going to end the series, which was called the Power Stroke Jude U.S. General Tool Cart Series. Um, I had a bunch of videos on my channel, and I also had people do videos on their own channel if they had a channel. Um, I'm going to list everybody who participated in the description, so check that out, and I'll name them all at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, in the meantime, let me turn this camera around, and I'll give you a tour of my U.S. General Tool Cart. All right, well, obviously, I've got the green U.S. General Tool Cart. I mean, you guys all know me. I probably wasn't going to get any other color but green. I suppose I might have got black if green was just not an option. Um, one of the things that I did do to it was I put the black trim on it. Let me step back a little bit. It looks pretty good. I like how that came out. Um, you can buy them at Harbor Freight. You cut them to size and it works pretty good. I also bought the the bumpers, you know, and I, or the side protectors, and I put those all the way around. That came out pretty good too. Um, let me show you the lid. Now my lid, I know it's pretty packed, but it pretty much stays in my garage, so it never really comes down. So I can overload it like that. It's no big deal because I don't really close my lid. Um, first things first, I got one of these U.S. General uh, magnetic trays. It's got the you know the screwdriver holders on the side and. Inside of there, I've got, let's see if I can show you guys, I've got a variety of inspection mirrors, I've got a pen and a pencil, uh, I've got a, well it's a Kershaw, but uh, um, it's pretty much my everyday carry knife, uh, Snap, I got it from Snap-on, and then I've got a utility knife from Cobalt, um, I've got some stuff to clean my eyeglasses, and I've got some Gorilla Glue. Uh, on the side, I've got a couple of snap-on screwdrivers. You know, they're not parts of any set. They're just a couple of screwdrivers. I've got a pocket pry bar. And on this side, I've got a snap-on uh, nut driver. Well, actually, it's it's a socket driver, but it's a quarter-inch driver. And I've got two of, the, two of those. One's not snap-on, though. But one of them has the extension on the top. And then I've got a... Schrader valve tool. One thing I did to my little um, tray was on the bottom, I glued these spacers because you know I did it right here too on these ones. I did these ones on, let me see if I can show you the inside. You can see them going all the way across um, because everyone's seen these, you know, how they flop around. They don't really hold very well. You know, so when you put the spacer in there, they kind of stand up right, which is pretty good. I kind of like that. Um, on this one, I've got a the Snap-on torch. It's the 400, not the 300 version. It's the only difference. I've got both. The only difference is this one's got a little bit bigger mouth. This one's pretty new. Um, it has a little more power, and you can dial the power down a little bit better, too. I got another pocket pry bar, a couple pocket screwdrivers, and a pocket a Craftsman pocket screwdriver and a pocket Phillips um, right here I've got a couple of magnetic telescope and pickup tools and I've got a couple of lights this is pretty much my everyday carry right here my man is jump and carry over here on this side I've got my keys and I've got a little pair of scissors green what, what who would figure it would be green <laughs> up here at the top I've got uh, the snap-on version of the Cyclops light. Don't know what it's called. I just call it a Cyclops light. I've got the snap-on uh, neck light, but I pretty much use it around my head with a, with the cap on backwards. And then I've got this headlamp. You know, if someone's ever working with me, I need a second headlamp. Or if I that one runs out, you know, this one's pretty bright too. Let me show you. It's pretty good. It works pretty well. It has three modes. Um, I got that one at the dollar store, guys. That one cost me $1.99 at the 99 cent store, believe it or not. Um, I've got this. is the Craftsman. It's a coffee cup holder. And usually in the mornings, I got coffee in it. You know, once that's done, usually I've got a monster in it or a bottle of water. Works great. It's magnetic. It's strong. 
Um, I love that thing. Uh, I got my, this is basically my phone holder. I usually have my phone on there or my glasses hanging from there. Right now I'm using my phone. That's why it's not on there. Um, up top I have an Aries uh, wrench holder and I've got, I'm not, I don't have the 14 up there, but this is a five piece set. The way I purchased it, it came as a five piece set, but it was a eight, 10, 12, 13, and 14. Um, Matco flex head, uh, non-reversible, uh, ratcheting wrenches. And then here are some OG gear wrench, uh, double box and zero offset ratcheting wrenches, also non-reversible. You know, um, they hang pretty well there. Works pretty good. Down here on the bottom, I've got a little, I guess it's supposed to be a tool holder or a screwdriver holder, but I've got all my quarter inch extensions, or at least most of them. And I've got a crescent quarter inch breaker bar. Yeah, I don't know why you need a breaker bar, but <laughs> I bought it. I've got an SK LP90 quarter inch ratchet. I've got a snap 100th anniversary quarter inch ratchet. Um, I've got a Capri quarter inch ratchet. Um, this one right here, you can see how beat up that handle is. That's an old gear wrench that was my go-to for a long time. I used that one or an old hard handle snap on one, but, uh, this one was a little bit longer than the snap on one. Um, you'll see the green one in the different tour sometime and of a different little cart I have. And then I've got a little OEM tools just to fill it out. <laughs> uh, quarter inch ratchet on the top of my cart on this side, I've got you know, a Pittsburgh long screwdriver. I've got a couple snap-on screwdrivers and a couple snap-on Phillips head screwdrivers. I've got some Beater Doyles, their, their demo set that is phenomenal. I actually like that set a lot. It does really, really well. Um, I've got a Capri half-inch ratchet. I've got a Capri 30 or two and a half foot, 30 inches. It's a breaker bar. And then I don't know the name of this one. I've got a snap on uh, three quarters step down to half inch uh, adapter on it. But it's an old breaker bar. Dude, look, I don't know if you guys can see that, but look at the. Let me turn that a little bit. You can see. Put some torque into that thing before, man. Look at that. I don't know if you can actually see it, but look how, look at the bend in that. Yeah, I'll put some. Uh, yeah, this is, I'll just leave it like that for a second. No big deal. Let me come over to the other side. I've got the long uh, Pittsburgh screwdriver. I've got the snap-on. Uh, these are the hose hooks. The long one and the short one. And then I've got the snap-on trim tools. You know, the long one and the short one as well. Green and black, of course. And then I've got the four-piece snap-on pry bar set. Like I said, I don't care too much that these don't go down. I mean, be, that they stick out from the cart because I really don't close this. It's not that big of a deal. Up on the top of my cart, you know, in the back, I have my, these two racks right here. It's the Cornwell Deep and Shallow Impact Set. It's a master impact set that I got from Cornwell a long time ago. It's been a good set. It even came with a couple of spark plug sockets that I hardly ever, ever use. Um, I've got the Snap-on uh, Wobble 3 8 And then my quarter inch. Um impacts are all capri the deeps and the shallows sae and metric and then on the side over here i've got the nano sockets sae and metric um those are pretty cool right here up front i've got a little pick set got a couple little adapters for you know impact adapters up front i got another pick set the longer ones and then in the back i have a oem tools bit set that you know, has some cheap bits in there, but I like the little ratchet and it's green. It's pretty much the main reason I got it. And then another OEM tools bit set. But this one's 
kind of cool. It's got some bits, different sizes. It's got an adapter. It's got some drill bits. I figure I can actually, I, I like that case. So I could actually put some better quality tools in there. Um, and I'll use it that way. Up front, I have an Aries bit holder. And it's got, you can kind of see the variety of everything that it's got in there. Um, I like that a lot. Pretty much most bits that I use daily are on there. And then in the, behind that, I have what is called the Bit Boss. Uh, and on the Bit Boss, I have the Vim. They're the hex driven magnetic uh, sockets or, or nut drivers, actually, not sockets, I'm sorry. And then I have them also non magnetic. Um, I really don't need those to be on there, but I kind of got them to be on there because I've had those for a long time. And you know what? I always forget that I have those. <laughs> and I figured if I throw them on this thing and put them on the top of my cart, you know, they'll be there and I'll, I'll see them right away when I need them. All right. Let me go over to the front of my cart and do the first small drawer. This is kind of my bit drawer. Uh, this is stuff that really I try not to get dirty. You know, this is for when I'm going inside of a vehicle in the passenger compartment or the cab of a truck or something like that. Um, I've got a little snap-on cordless screwdriver and I've got a DeWalt cordless screwdriver. This one's really cool. It's a... I forget the word, gy gy gyrometer, I think. But if you look at it, it focus, it doesn't move. And it, it is a variable speed, but it, it moves as I twist it. So that's pretty cool. I've got the Wera kit that everyone's got. You know, everyone has this thing. Um, I've got a little bitster. I've got a precision screwdriver. Another little bit driver right here. I've got a Craftsman 16 foot. Uh, tape measure i got the little autozone version or o'reilly's version of this wear a tool i don't know why i keep that there i really don't need that there um i got some this is a little bit kit you know it's got some torques it's got a little bit of everything just like this one has a little bit of everything too you know this one's also got the the ratchet and the screwdriver handle and some sockets um I've got this Titan set of bits, you know, I mean, this is, these are Torx, tamper-proof Torx, but they're just a little bit longer in profile if they can focus. That's why I like these, you know, sometimes you just, it's just the, gives you a little bit um, of a better reach on some areas. Sometimes you don't need them to be that long, sometimes you do. But this is kind of my, and this is just a DeWalt case with a bunch of extra random bits and stuff like that. Um, but... This is, like I said, I try to make sure I, I always wash my hands before I go in here because if I'm going in here, I have to go into a cab. My next drawer is my wrench drawer. This is Snap-on Flank Drive Plus. It basically goes from, what, 8 or, or t 8 to to 8 to 19, and I think half to 3 quarters or something like that. Um, That's pretty much what that does and I have a couple of snap um craftsman usa little little combination wrenches right there uh this little compartment has adapters for three eighths and quarter inch extensions or for or three eighths and quarter inch drive adapters you know um right here I have my nano wrench that I won it was very cool that I won this from from uh, Astro Astro Pneumatic, that was cool. And then I have a Craftsman, Taiwan Craftsman, uh, three drive ratchet that I that I kind of like. It's kind of cool. Up front, I have my hundredth anniversary Snap on USA flex head non locking three eighths drive ratchet. Then I have this thing is one of my favorites, man. I've had this thing a long time. It's a little Craftsman flex head. Um ratchet man this thing's phenomenal i love this thing i've had this thing for years and it's been really cool to ratchet in certain certain spots where you need it this drawer i'm not sure if i utilized well um i think i did but i'm not sure i might change it i'm not sure but right now i just kind of have uh you know a couple chargers i have a snap-on charger for the 14 fours i have a 
Mac charger for my Mac ratchet. And then I have a DeWalt charger. And then I have my power strips. You know, I'm, if I'm charging the batteries, this won't close. But I figure even if I have it just about here, that way it can stay a little bit cool and I can run an extension cord. You know, if I need extra batteries while I'm working, if I, if I got a long day, I got someone helping me. Uh, next drawer down. Uh, this is my Capri uh, hex set, hex socket set. It's a master set I got from Capri. I kind of like that. There's their hex sockets are pretty legit. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, this is my OEM tool star set, and then this is my RBRT torque set. Um, this is pretty cool. I really like this, and then this is an e torque set. I want to thank Justin Dow, man. He hooked me up with the RBRTs and with the e torques That was really cool of him. Um, then I do still use air tools. Uh, you know, those are basically my air tools. I actually got to change this. I was give, gifted by Theo from Country Mile Garage. He hooked me up with the new Earthquake Ratchet. I've had this Craftsman for years. So I'll probably be switching that out pretty soon. I got an old, old Snap-on. Another Snap-on. For my quarter inch drive uh, air ratchet and then this one i can't remember. this is ingersoll ran that's an ingersoll ran right there so that's that drawer pretty much everything in there my next drawer is my chrome sockets pliers and whatnot um my pliers i've got a pair of dewalt aviation snips then i've got the snap on long uh, side cutters Snap on channel locks, snap on needle nose. Uh, I don't even know what this one's called, but it was like the penny pincher. I mean, this thing is, it's got a cutter on it. And this is the one that snap on used to show you. If, if you put a penny in it, you, you couldn't, couldn't get any other pair of pliers and pull the penny out of it. <laughs> then I got the smaller set of side cutters. I've got some engineer pliers. Um, I got the green nip -X made by monster mobile rebranded by monster mobile but they are made in germany so i thought that was pretty sick and not a lot of people have those and then i've got the green um also my, by monster mobile excuse me <laughs> um the needle nose with the bend in them those are pretty cool thank you to justin now he hooked me up with those as well then i got a pair of uh Flush cuts by Doyle, uh, SK wire stripper, and I don't know who makes that, but that's a pretty good crimp, crimping tool. I got my chrome sockets, my SE and metric deep and shallow are all monster mobile. Um, and then my SE and metric mid lengths are craftsmen. So it's an old craftsman set, man. I, I got to take care of that. And then I've got both uh, SE and metric wobbles. Those are both gear wrench sets, both old sets. Um, over here, um, the SE and metric deep and shallow are an Amazon special. Believe, be honest with you, I'm not even sure. I, I'm Nico or Castleman or something like that. And then my SE and metric mid links are both uh, snap-on. Uh, I have a few gear wrench for replacements for the mid-lengths on both. Um, I've got a quarter-inch flex head ratchet set. I like that a lot. And then I've got, those are the OG Easy Red. Um, everyone has them now by Monster. Uh, Monster, yeah, Monster Mobile makes them, Icon makes them. Uh, Mountain makes them, but mine are the OG Easy Reds. And I got a Titan little thumb driver. So that's that drawer. Let's see what I got on the bottom here. On the bottom here, I have uh, that case has my multimeter. The case on the bottom, this one here has like a little small scanner and some like di diag tools. Over here in the back. I got my Noco GB150. Love that thing. That thing's pretty legit. And then up top right here, you know, I've got a, a variety of nuts, bolts, a washer, spacers, and these two things that I use a lot that are common that I that I 
have to go through quite often. Oh, and right here, I got a OEM Tools flashlight. Pretty good light, I like that light. Um, let me show you guys this side of my cart. Uh, this here, it's a, it's a Craftsman and it's a power tool holder. <laughs> What's what's it holding is holding my cordless power tools. Uh I like it. It's um not bad. It's like 30 bucks at Lowe's. It's probably gonna go on sale for Father's Day sooner or something like that, Memorial Day. But I got a snap on uh CT761. This is new. It's the DeWalt Mid Torque. I just got this from Joey Preciado. And then this is my my uh, Mac quarter inch. Um, cordless ratchet and then back here I've got underneath here I've got a DeWalt light and then I've got the Flexilla blowgun and then I've got some US General Magnets I got the quarter inch right here and I've got the 3 8 right here I keep the quarter inch there because I honestly use the quarter inch a lot more than I use the 3 8 um, those might be getting replaced soon because of, well I don't know they might stay where they are I've got some snap-on ratchets, a lot of them. <laughs> uh, over here, I usually this doesn't usually stay in the cart. Maybe, maybe it, but usually if I'm out somewhere using my cart, I'm listening to music or something, and I've got my Dewalt little Bluetooth speaker. Um, I did pick up the side table, uh, and I know I put the side table on the same side as the handle. Most people don't do that. But I did that in order to be able to have the um, power tools over here. I like that. It worked out pretty good. But it's the same, same principle. Just drop it down. Let me get to the back of my cart. Um, right here is a Monster Mobile work light that I also picked up from Joey Preciado. It lives right there. Hangs right here. But I'm going to put it back here for the benefit of this video. <laughs> I've got a couple of the new Harbor Freight hooks that come out. Now, I know these things are supposed to be held up to hold up to 25 pounds. Um, my, uh, I know it's overkill, <laughs> you know, because uh, I just got a grippity mat and I've got a, a, a bolster hanging from them, you know, and they do, they do hold quite a bit of weight. Um, Dale Lucid tested them. You can check that out on his channel and uh, they held not quite 25 pounds but they held pretty close to 25 pounds i've got the u.s general um, paper towel dispenser and then i've got the lyle tools uh that i won from lyle tools that was pretty cool but that's the lyle tools uh, glove dispenser now you know i'm mobile i work from home a lot you know i don't have a rack so on the back of my cart you know with the little bungee strap i've got my tool dolly you know it bounces around a little bit when i move it but but not too bad you know and I, I like i like to have that near me because if i don't have it there i'll forget i have it i'll forget that i'm using it <laughs> or that I, that I can use it when i go underneath the vehicle and that really is helpful you know before i turn this thing around let me show you one more thing i don't know if you guys can see it but on you can see the the bolt bolt heads right here the bolts how they are faced in they're supposed to be that all the way around but where my tray is i put them facing out on both sides and then over here i also put them facing out you can see it better right there and i did that just so you can have a little more access you know, when, when you're using the corners and that that worked out pretty good this thing is just bent and tweak. That's why it doesn't want to go down. But anyways. Um, so that's my U.S. General Tool Car Tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I, <laughs> I'm blocking my, my face. Uh, I, I want to thank everybody that participated, man. We had Joey Preciado. Check him out. But he doesn't have a, a YouTube channel. Check him out on, on Instagram. We have Miguel Martinez. Check him out on Instagram as well. He also doesn't have a a, a YouTube channel. But Devin C. and Blake's uh, Repair and Auto, um, Restoration and Automotive. Both of them put their videos on my channel. And that was really cool of them to let me use that footage. But they both have channels. So check out both of their channels. Then people who did videos on their own channel and you should check out theirs as well is 
BS Small Engines, Dale Lucid, Ed the Oltekai, Darian Robinson, Redline Gary, formerly Gary Craftifer, um, Joe Burgess, and Mater's Workshop. So I want to thank everybody who participated. I want to thank everybody who watches. Um, let me end this video by saying please like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Um, until next time, keep on keeping on. Power Stroke Jude, out.